Okay, let's see what we get today. What am I supposed to be looking for right now? Mm, okay, all right. What's up, what's up, yeah? Where everybody at? What with all the early birds? Greetings to, to all the early birds. Where you at? Hey, Latina in the building. Latina, you're gonna live a long life. You're gonna live a long, long life, dear. I saw that picture you posted yesterday. You you make you were standing on business. Yeah, Latina was standing on business when she posted that picture. She was in the gym. That's motivation. Latina, I want you to know that picture motivated me to work out yesterday. So keep it up. You 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 are inspiring people. You don't even know. You don't even know it. A lot of times people are inspired by you, but they, they, they don't tell you. What's up, y'all? Greetings to greetings to the fam. How's the bird gang doing? Yeah, we have our folks. We have our folks out there, you know, doing the damn thing. I saw a picture of our girl Latina. She was in she was in the gym, standing on business. I love that picture, Latina. Yeah, that picture was a. Uh, it, it was very inspiring. What's up, Aaron? What's up, Leo? Shout out to, shout out to everyone. There's there's some new names that popping up, but you know, welcome to, welcome to the the fam. Welcome to the family. Oh, Miss R in the house. What's up, Miss R? How you doing, dear? Greetings. Miss R is a pioneer. Thanks to you, Miss R. See, Miss R, one thing I have to say, this, this session, well, it's not a session, but this live is about letting it out. Let it out. This is a safe space for us to let it out. Even though we have tattletellers in the bushes that tattletell on us, but we're not going to let that stop us. We're going to let it out. But I just want to give a shout out to Miss R. She's she's very loyal. She's she is a real one. There have been people who have came into my life, you know, got close with me, personal with me. We have exchanged numbers. And due to the fact that I can't be there for them, like how they want me to be there for them, because you know, I do social media, so I get tons and tons of emails and messages from from so many people who want, you know, guidance. And I can't do it all. I can't, you know, help everybody. Obviously, I'm I'm it's it get exhausting for me. It's replying to so many different people, and I also reply to businesses all day. But some people just don't understand. You know what goes on in somebody else's life sometimes they just think about themselves i have gotten close with some people online i have you know opened myself to these people and due to the fact that i can't give them the time that they want from me they just abandon me and that's not fair because feelings get involved when you get personal with people so I just want some people just to be my supporter. That way, if you are my supporter, 
you're not going to get personal with me you're not going to want my phone number you're not going to you know get personal with me outside of youtube because when you get personal with me i'm letting you into my you know trying to get to know you trying to get to know me and it's not easy so many people you know want to get to know me but i can't be friends with everybody that's just unrealistic and people have abandoned me due to the fact i cannot reply to their messages on time or this that on time and they just like abandon me and go somewhere else so we we we, we letting letting it out so i just feel like if you if you are my supporter be my supporter but if you want to be my friend get personal with me you got to understand that i run i work for myself and i rely on myself for everything and it's not easy running your own business and having to deal with so many life issues and also other people issues it's a lot for one person i'm just one guy thank you thank you i just don't like the fact that people come into my life and they you know they they push them, themselves into my world to get personal with me as far as getting my number and all these things then when i can't reply to them like how they want me to reply to them due to the fact i'm exhausted from working a lot some people they have all the time in the day in the world to just chill just just to just write you all day they have all the time in the day to do that some people are bored so they just write you i love it i love all the support but you have to understand too that i have a lot on my plate to deal with and if you want to be my supporter be my supporter if you're my supporter you don't have to get personal with me you don't have to write me on my phone number you're my supporter you you know you you like what I do, you support my cause. But if you get personal with me, you want my phone number, you want to talk to me, you want to send me messages, all that thing, then you're getting personal with me. And if I can't give you what you want, then you abandon me. So many people online have done that to me, and that's not cool. If you're going to get close with somebody who's a social media person, you're you're gonna have to deal with the fact that that person also have other people that want the same you know bond with them some people will not even message you how many people out there you know that have social media platform and they are well known out there but they don't even reply to messages you you will email them they will not even reply to you they won't even take the time they even acknowledge you but i'll take the time to do that a machine is not writing you it's me mal mal writing you himself it's not some type of auto you know auto robot that's that's writing you it's me myself i don't have somebody well i had somebody working with me before who used to help me with messages but that person they abandoned abandoned me so at the end of the day sometimes it's you it's you have yourself because a lot of people who start with you are not going to finish with you a lot of people started with me where they at now they're not with me but some people are still with me like miss r she's been with me from day one through the thick and thin the ups and downs she she still stayed but there's some people who just came and they just got close to me and due to the fact i'm a busy person i don't have time to be you know replying to them like how they want me to reply to them then they just abandon ship and just go somewhere else that's why i say you don't do that to people you call your friends you don't just abandon your friends that's not right you don't just give up on your friends like that that stuff hurt like i said i got feelings i got emotion i'm not a rock feelings hurt you know what is this okay they want to feed off your energy i have met a lot of amazing people greetings to everyone in the chat 
I have met a lot of amazing people online, but some people, you know, they get close to you, but they don't understand that you also have a life and you're also chasing your goals and dreams. So you're not there to, to be there to talk to them all the time because you're busy. If I wasn't busy, I wasn't doing nothing else. Of course, I would have time to chat with you all the time, but I have so many I have so many unread messages because it's it, it's it's too much for one person. I can only do my best, and I'm trying. So please, if you support me, be a supporter. Like you know, you can. You don't have to get personal with me. You don't have to get my phone number. You don't have to, you know, try to come inside of my world to know Mal Mal like that because if you want to do that I'm I'm all open to it but you got to understand that I'm not going to be available to chat with you whenever you want to chat I wish I can reply to everybody who write me I wish I can help everybody who write me but that's not that's not being realistic I can only do the best I can. Exactly, Dizzy. Thank you. And some of y'all understand. And I respect the people who understand that. Like Miss R, she understands. She can go and not come. Miss R can go away for one month and not even vibe with us. When she come back, it's still love. She still show love. But some people, they just abandoned me. And they just left. And I got, and these people got close to me. They made me feel like we was friends just because I'm not able to be there to talk to them 24 hours or all the time when they message me. I don't have time to do that all the time. To be honest, fam, I'm just being real. Mal is a true human. Mal, respect for you, Mal. I heard Jeff say he is Amber true friend. Well, look like captains. <laughs> yeah, we was a hey, talking about the girl. I have some good news. I have some information that just hit. Just that just, it just came out today. So let's get into that information about Amber real quick. All right, fam. So while, while we're doing that real quick, let me just. Let me just. Give me one, one, one minute, yeah, uh, one, un momento. Mm. Cause this is online. The pe people who are helping her, they posted this. So the title, title tell us you can go. And go around and say that's okay. Hold on, yeah. I'm trying to. Okay, let me see. Okay, so let's. This is giving me a minute. I'll get here. I'm just trying to. Pull up some visual looking at Amber walking. That's a classic video of Amber right there. Let me go back to. Okay, so let me let me give you the update on Amber. Right, there's a guy named Brian. Brian, he's an outreach worker, and he's it's the one who's been helping Amber recently. So he posted today. He said, I just I just wanted to stop all the rumors about he said, I just wanted to stop all the rumors about Amber. She is definitely in the hospital and doing much better. Park Hill Recovery Solution received a call last week to help facilitate Amber recoveries plan. She had her track removed today and will have her feeding tube. Out next week our recovery team has been spending time with amber she has a lot of trauma from her days on the streets of kensington 
it is sad that Amber is okay. Hold on. He, he said, he said she has a lot of trauma from her. He said she has a lot of trauma from her days on the streets of Kensington. He's also said that it is sad that Amber is popular from videos of her in addiction. It is sad that Amber is popular from videos of her in addiction. She is really coming along in the she is really coming coming along well. So she's in the hospital right now. I, I don't want to put the hospital name out there because you know we got some some people that will be blowing up that hospital trying to call Amber. So he said Amber is in the hospital right now. He said Temple Hospital released Amber to the streets last week. So Amber was released from Temple Hospital to the streets of Kensington last week without a recovery plan. So these the hospital just put her out without any type of recovery plan and just say, yo, that's it. Get out of here. You can't stay here anymore. And I have heard similar cases where these hospitals just dump people out on the streets like they're trash. So he said Temple Hospital released her to the streets to the streets last week without a, without a recovery plan. He said Amber relapsed that day, but she called Park Hill Recovery Solution for help. He said Amber is having problems walking, but the physical therapy team is working with her daily. She needs to gain some weight from being in a coma for four months. Everyone thought about Am everyone thought Amber was going to die. I believe she can do it with a recovery plan my team put together. She wants a normal life. Please keep her in your prayers and know she is on her way to recovery. Amen. Amen to that, right? So that's what Brian said. I reached out to him this morning, but we haven't spoken yet. But I reached out, reached, reached out to him because I want to tell him thank you for helping Amber. All right, so that was that's that was one year ago. This video is of Amber one year ago. Let's get let's get out of it. I just want to just show y'all that while we was talking about her. But yeah, so that's great news. Amber is in the hospital. That's foul, messed up with what Temple Hospital did to her. Apparently, she didn't AMA leave against medical advice they kicked they kicked her out i'm trying to find a different angle on this camera to play so everyone prayers everyone y'all keep on praying for your girl amber right yeah her true friends true friends don't give up on you they stick with you through thick and thin unless you have done something so bad to them that they cannot be your friend anymore. But we know Amber having done that to some people. But that's good. Shout out to Brian and his team at Park. What's the name of it? Park Hill Recovery. He said they got a good, they got a good plan for Amber. So let's just continue to support these people. Like I said, I'm there. They can always reach out to me. Any help that we can provide them with, we will. This guy has a purpose for Amber. Her, her, her testimony is going to be like, it's going to be a movie. She has, God has a plan for her. I just hope that she fulfill it before it's too late. Please believe me, she is still an addict. Understandable. She and Jeff have an agenda, agenda big bucks. My sister has been involved in a conversation. He swore, swore April 1st. He is waiting in the wings. Yeah, but we all know those who know the real deal, we know the situation with those people, those who know. But there are people online who are gullible they they have no idea they just believe what somebody present to them because this is the internet you can always you can be a monster behind the screen and an angel online 
there's people so many people are like that online i'm just saying um she's tough but she got to one sobriety absolutely can't nobody want it but her but amber family don't want nobody doing videos with her anymore so he can't even do videos with her anymore so he's like nah i'm done i don't want to work with her no more because the family said they're tired with her face being plastered plaster all over the internet four months in the hospital and no recovery plan everyone who was in the hospital for a serious illness get a recovery regardless of illness <clears throat> i told you my my stay at the hospital what i experienced from certain nurses it opened my eyes a lot on how much training that some of these nurses need to take over especially in the field of compassion and empathy because some of these people come into work with outside problems and they want to take it out on you they are human beings too so they have issues but they they have a career they're supposed to take care of people so you're not supposed to bring your issues to work with you but I have seen how they treat some people. They treat they treated me. Some some nurses treated me like 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 crap. Some just take the job for a paycheck. That's all a paycheck. They don't care about the person in the bed. But I still wish the best for her. Absolutely. You just described Jeff Mal. Yeah, I have no beef with the guy. The guy had beef with me because I was working with Amber and people try to a lot of, you know, people came when they come into this game, they want to some people want to start drama. And that's how come me and him fell out because over had a had fell out. We fell out over Amber because he started some drama with me and I was minding my business. But I would never think that he would say that he would wash his hands of her because that was his he made made it seem like that was his best friend from the videos. And now she's to the point now where she's ready to get help. I believe he's just he's saying that because he can't video her no more. He can't put her on her on his channel on videos no more. He can't do that no more. Evil on the inside. Yeah, he definitely speaks some evil stuff. That's for sure. This is this is a human life. Are you people blind? She needs a. <clears throat> Let's be careful on how we use our words. We don't have to agree on everything, but let's respect each other because words has a tone. The way how you say things in words can also be, you know, offensive. Like, are you people blind? We are not blind. We can see clearly. I had so many nurses and doctors treat me like garbage in my active addiction, and it just isn't right. Every life matters. Oh my God, animal lover, you you just you said it. You have the experience. You you know what it's like when you're in that hospital and some of these people come, these nurses or doctors come in the room, and they just you just, you can just. The vibe is off. You can tell like they don't really care about you. I have experienced the same thing. And I told her, I, 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 I expressed my feelings. I, I let it out. Yeah, I, I let it out, fam. I let it out. And when I let it out, some of these people, they told me like, oh, you know what? I feel a whole lot better now that you told me because I came to work. I was stressed out. You know what? My mom is an alcoholic. And then I, I heard stories like that from nurses in the hospital because I was like, why are you treating me like that? And then we had a conversation. Then I, I opened up and tell them, listen, I'm all about fairness on how people are treated in humanity. I'm all about how you treat people. If you treat people um, badly, because of the way how they look or because of the way or because of their situation you treat people badly because of that i can't i can't rock with you i can't we can't be cool 
And I told some of these nurses because I saw they was treating me a certain way and I, I let it out. And one nurse told me, she was like, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I was really having a bad day. You know, my mom is an alcoholic. I was like, you know what? I This is what I'm all about. You know, I'm all about stuff like this, the uncomfortable stuff. And me and her talk, and she felt a whole lot better, and she treated me a whole lot better. I said, yeah, because you can't come to work with your problems and take it out on the patient, how the patient is supposed to feel. So you have to speak up, even if it's just you, one person, speak up, let it out. Don't let people just treat you how they want to treat you. Sometimes these people don't know better. Sometimes they think it's okay to treat you how they are treating you. No, it's not okay. Let them know it's not right. So that way they won't do it to somebody else. So that way you could check them. They could check themselves. But if you just let people treat you like how they want to treat you, talk to you like how they want to treat you, it will never stop. It will just get worse. Sometimes you have to hit hard. Use strong words. To, nah, eh. I understand that, but there are better ways to say things without using, you know, certain words. I know what you mean. They call stuff like that tough love, but over here, there is no tough in love. Some of us, we've been hit hard our whole life. We don't need to be hit hard anymore, Wayne. That's the situation. That's the problem. You know what I mean? Some of us, we've been hit hard our whole life, so we're tired of being, getting hit hard. We've been hit hard by life, been hit hard by relationships, been hit hard by parents, been hit hard by so many things. Let it out the right way. Absolutely. Let it out the right way. There's ways we can let it out. We don't have to, you know, insult each other. And that's self-development. Right. We talk. We talked about that not too long ago. Self-development. You think I don't want to say certain things to certain people. You think I don't want to flip out, call people out of their names. I want to do all that stuff. But. That's the old me. I'm developing. I'm developing myself to be a better version of the old me. It's so easy. I can flip out too. I got I got a billion curse words in my. You know what I mean? I got so many. Lethal words that I could hit you with one of my words. You'll be like, damn, Mal, Mal, you hurt my feelings. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to cry now. I got those. Yeah, don't play with me. I'm a fire sign. But I self, I developed myself into not hurting people because I don't want nobody to hurt me. When I came out of a coma, I definitely got closer to God. Amen to that. Amen to that, Ursula. Someone close to me, OD, and and could hear doctors speaking racial slurs to him. They trying to revive and wake him up. Oh, damn. I'm still glad you did that, but it broke my heart. Absolutely. You're absolutely right, Lizzie. All the, everything that you're saying exists, and it's still happening to this day. We have people who work in fields that are meant to help people, but they are. They say horrible things about people in that field. So you got to check yourself. It's human. We are all human. But you got to check yourself. You know what they say? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Positive vibes only and always. Always positive vibes is good because it's it sets a... Uh, it sets a mood when you feel uncomfortable it's not good you absolutely have to be your own advocate and yep absolutely patrick 100 percent. you have to be your own advocate they had a lady that comes around and asks people i guess human resource ladies she she came around and she asked me how am i being treated and i told her you know 50 50 there are awesome nurses and doctors who treated me well, and there are awesome ones who just see you as bad. They come, don't even say hi to you, no good morning, nothing. They just come in your room and just doing their job. They like robots doing their job. That's it. No inter, no human interaction, nothing, no feelings, nothing. I have nurses like that. 
and doctors like that. And I told them, I said, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Are you having a good day? You got to speak up. You have to be your own advocate. Absolutely. You got to let them know or else they'll keep on doing it. Some people got bad behaviors and they haven't been called out. They haven't been called out on their bad behaviors. You got to call them out on that. What was for breakfast? Oh, breakfast? Yo, I didn't mean... I, I had potatoes. I had like a soup for breakfast. I, I, I was kind of... I didn't want to go through the whole process of making, you know, my usual breakfast. Yeah, I, updates on Alyssa. Alyssa is doing great. I just give an update on Alyssa, I think, yesterday or not. She's doing great. I, her, she's with her mother. She 22 months, 22 months in. She got 22 months clean time. She's she's in Florida. You know, she's still healing. She's permanently permanently disfigured, but she's still healing. So yeah, shout out to Alyssa and her mother. You know, everybody suffers. Her mom is going through it too. Her mom said that it's not easy having to go through what she's going through with Alyssa. You set and move mouth. Thank you. Hey, hey, Dizzy, you know, it's, it's all about compromising. That way we can all get along because if we don't, we don't compromise. We will all be bumping heads over here. Because <laughs> we all have different opinions on, on, on different things. So, but we have to compromise, come to an understanding, so that way we all can get along. It's just like you having a roommate. You like loud music, your roommate like to read. So yeah, I got to come to an agreement <laughs> when you can play your loud music and when your roommate can, can you know, read. But if you don't respect your roommate who like to read and you just playing that loud music all day and roommate can't read y'all gonna y'all not gonna get along world warrior a letter from melissa mom is posted on aml community tab yes you can definitely check it out bro go through the community tab and scroll down her mom got an in-depth letter that she wrote us you know she do her best she don't owe us anything. She don't have to give us any update on her daughter because we have people who like persistently harass this lady. How Alyssa doing? What happened to Alyssa? And, you know, so many people message the mom those kind of messages. And sometimes it can get overwhelming. Sometimes you just want to just fall back for a minute. But she she's grateful for all the support, all the concerns. But she do her best to update us on Alyssa as much as she can. Mom, planet, my planet of war, Mars and Leo. I'll never back down from doing the right thing. That's awesome, dear. That's awesome. And you are the table of people that make this world a better place because you, you speak up. If you see injustice, Obviously, you're going to, you know, be cautious you because you don't want to risk your life. You have to know firsthand before you put yourself in other people's business. Right. Because don't put yourself in a business you don't know nothing about because you can get hurt getting yourself involved in something you don't know nothing about. So know, know what you're getting yourself involved in before you want to help. So you can see it's another day in the Badlands. Everybody is going on about their day. People looking for their next fix. People looking for their, trying to get their, their money. How, how they going to, you know, survive the day. Let's see from another angle. Let's see what angle got a lot of activities right now. That's the famous KNA train station. People come from all, 
all over. Even on the train, people come from Jersey on the train just to come to Kensington to get drugs. People come from all over, fam, on that Damon train. Steak and eggs, hash brown, and oh, oh, James, you had a banging breakfast. That sounds good. There's a party in your stomach. No bad size manner. All right. Hello, Mal from Kiowa, Kansas. We support. Oh, thank you, Steve. Yo, Kansas, we out there. AML family worldwide. Kansas in the building. Shout out to you, Steve. Appreciate your support, buddy. I appreciate the whole Kansas family. Appreciate everybody who support me. Like I said, I appreciate the support. But if you try to get my try to get close to me, want to be my best friend, want to be my buddy, don't take it personal. If you know, if I don't get, if I don't have the time, let me see. It's it's um there are rude and bad teachers. Oh, absolutely, right, Miss R. Absolutely, in in all work of life. In any industry, there are good and bad people. Just like the church, you have a good pastor, bad pastor. In anything in life, there are good and bad versions in that in that particular thing. The yang and the yang, that's just how life is. In anything in life, there is a good and a bad within it. There are definitely bad teachers. How many teachers have been called out for having sex with the students? How many teachers have are in jail right now for sleeping with their with their students? How many? We heard the stories. There's so many stories out there like that. But that one nurse was so nice to you, Mal. I do remember her name or anything. She was. Oh yeah, yo, she was a sweetheart. Yo, you know what about that nurse? I had to put her in check. <laughs> That's why she was nice to me because I had to put her in check because she came in there too, just think that she was going to treat me any kind of way. And I told her, nope, you got the wrong guy today, not this guy. I stand up against a full injustice. Yep, I don't play that. You know, when, when you check people, then y'all become friends after you check them, right? Because when you don't check people, when people start treating you some kind of way and you don't say nothing, they can just be skating on ice. But once you check them, some people take it, you know, as a they 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 can improve their behavior. Some people take it like, oh, you a bad, you you are you are, you are a difficult patient. I don't want to deal with you. Oh, it could be worse. It go it could go both ways. But she she took it as a positive thing. Cause I call I call her out on something that she was doing. I call her out and she checked herself and we we became friends after that. Lexi's cookie and Java. Oh, cookie and Java. Carrie, that sounds good. Wow, that's great. Okay, fam. Um, and bad teachers wound young hearts. Facts. Yep. Trauma. So much trauma. Yeah, Bree is doing amazing, fam. I'm like so happy for her. If she wasn't gonna get out of Kensington, who knows the outcome what it was going to be like but sometimes things happen it may be horrible at the time but it's sometimes it happened for a reason i'm just glad she's alive so yesterday when i was on a live a gentleman he came and he said that he i think he was 20 something I can't remember fame. Sometimes I get lost in the sauce. So, but yeah, he said he's an artist. And I told him to share his his Instagram, his po his portfolio. And he sent his he sent his portfolio. He sent me his Instagram page. So we're gonna look at his Instagram page together and we're gonna see his work. All right, fam. So we're on his page right now. Let me take this comment off the screen real quick so y'all can see. So that's his page. Is it that's his Instagram? Is bad done well? Bad done well. Bad done well. So you can see his he's an artist. His name is Randy. His art style is horror slash art. 
So let's check out his. Hey, Randy, we 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 creeping on your page, buddy. I see you got a cat named named Nico. Okay, so we looking at his work, his artwork. This is some of his work. I told him he has his a unique style. He said, "Art is never finished, only abandoned." Wow, that's deep. I hope I can finally walk away from this piece. I completely redrew the lips and nose and made some other changes. You can compare this latest version with my previous version. Let's see his previous version. Okay, so that's his previous version right there. So he said he did some, he redrew the lips and the nose and made some other changes. So you can see the difference that he did. So he's a very creative person. He's unique. He has his own style. And there's, there's a world out there for him. There was a crowd out there for him. Like if he could put these things on t-shirts and canvases, he can definitely, you know, sell it. Let's see some of his other work. So he has a very dark style. Like he said, he said his style is horror. Face study inspired by the work of Monica. I've been exploring different artistic styles in an effort to capture a unique atmosphere for my future work. I hope you enjoy it. So you can see, fam. His work remind me of, you know, of some of the people that I interview, the darkness, the horror, the other side. We, we capture the other side, the uncomfortable side. Look at this. This is really deep. Revisiting older work and adding more details has always been a great warm up for me. I was reaching for the style of Junji with this piece. I hope you enjoy. Damn, that's deep right the tongue you know what they said the tongue has no bones but it can break break so many hearts it can break so many people and they have no bones but it can break it can break people the tongue and that's a razor that, oh look it's a razor on the tongue so that goes to tell you the tongue hurts that's the table what's your what's your reaction of this of this artwork my reaction, my, my takeaway from this is the tongue hurts. That's what I take away from it. It's powerful, right? What y'all think? Artists are special and creative people. Yep, absolutely, dear. Raise the tongue. Because words hurt. So I just feel like that ties into this artwork that words hurt and power lies in the tongue. Life and death lies in the tongue. You can say something that you can say something that can get you killed. A lot of people have said things that have gotten them killed. So life and death lies in the tongue. You say the wrong thing to somebody, it's a rap. Or you said the right thing for you said the right thing to somebody in. You can you can be successful, so that's a very powerful, powerful illustration right there. Oh, let's see. They are trying to take her voice. Oh yeah, that's what they see. It's so many. We we all can look at a we all can look at a picture, and there's a million different explanation to that particular picture. Like I I I think that you know, life and death lies in the tongue and the words hurt or the tongue hurt or that's my that's what i'm taking away from this but lizzie just hit me with something different that made me look at it different she said they are trying to take her voice see that's deep i never even really looked at it that way so that's a very deep one lizzie they're trying to take her voice <clears throat> i've had my struggles in kensington for many years oh bad done well okay bad done well is in the house listen man we we on your page we checking out your masterpiece. You definitely got what it takes, man. You the next Van Gogh. <laughs> Am I saying that right, Van Gogh? You your own. You you are your own Van Gogh, but we we'll call you Van Dog. 
Well, I love your work, man. It's powerful. Maybe with all our talent, we could open a special shop for our community like an AML. Oh, that's what's up. Even that lady that Misty, she posted her that artwork on eBay. So I'll, I'll have to go check out the link and, and you know share it. So maybe somebody will want to buy the, the piece that she made. That's a beautiful piece she made. So I'll, sh I'll definitely share her eBay. Let's see. But yeah, that's a beautiful thing, Ursula. That's definitely, definitely possible. If our words don't cut, there is no point speaking silence kills. Hmm. Wayne, you are deep. You deep. If our words, I, I, you, I have to read that a, a lot of times just so I can let it sink in and, and comprehend what you said. Our words don't cut. There's no points if, if okay, if our words don't cut, there's no point speaking. Silence kills. Damn, that's deep. Yeah, that's deep, Wayne. That's a very deep one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. It, it, it go both ways, man. Half and half, but it's deep. Yes, laugh, laugh, laugh. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, you should um you should definitely do more more artwork, man. Definitely create your own YouTube channel, create your own TikTok, go live, draw, show show people. If you can teach people your method on certain things, there are a lot of artists out there who might, you know, gain inspiration from you, might learn something from you. So let's look at some more pieces from you. But yeah, what I'm saying so far, man, yeah, you're definitely talented. Look at this one. The vampire. Mixing up with different techniques, watercolors with pencil and ink. So he does mix mixed media also. Mixed media is when you incorporate different techniques and different, you know, like markers, pencils, airbrush, paints, all kinds of things you can do with mixed media. It's unlimited. But yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at this one. What? The Elephant Man portrait. See, that's in the Elephant Man. Okay. Let's keep pushing. So yeah, if you want to check out his, his page, he has an Instagram page. It's called Bad Done Well. It's very unique. You can see... How he progressed throughout the years. When you go down, these are like his older, his older work. So some people might look at his page and then they might be like, oh, this is evil, this is sinister, this is all oh, is horror. But some people might look at this and, and fall in love with it. There's a market for, for everyone. Everyone have a market. I like his work. I like his art. It's unique. It's different. This one. That one is really cool. Oh, look. She got a gun. Lord of Silence. You should put that on a t-shirt. This is a seller right here to me. This one is a seller. If you put this on a t-shirt, bro, this is a seller right here. What y'all think, fam? This is a seller right there, right? You put that on a t-shirt, definitely Mau Mau would rock that. Yep, fam, that's a t-shirt right there. Yeah, digital art is cool. I be doing digital arts too. Do all digital art. Do hands-on art. Yeah, he's very talented. Digital art also, you have to be creative because you have to come up with things to, to bring your words to life. Yeah. Bad, that's awesome. Keep up, keep up creating your art. Yeah, right. He's definitely talented. This is like my favorite one. So far, out of the ones that I have seen, this is one of my favorites. Because it definitely belongs on a shirt. Lizzie, not sure if it was a lie, but I put my email to get up, get up, get up with you. 
she was inspired by the addicts I met out here too. Yep. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else. All right, we have this. Old work view on VHS. So this is like I say, when you go down his page, you see when he first started getting into his posting online. You do tattoos also. You did that tattoo done well. Totally in love with this. You probably do a tattoo also. If you can draw, you can do a tattoo. You can if you can draw, you can do a tattoo. You can cut hair. All those things if you can draw because cutting hair is just about you know staying within staying within the lines. If you can color, you can cut hair. You just gotta practice, that's all. But yeah, you got you you really have a unique style, buddy. I'm gonna go look to I'm gonna go pop up on Facebook really quick, and I'm gonna share that with y'all. I wanna um see if Misty Misty has a she posted it. I don't know if I'm gonna see it though. On many okay, yeah. I'm trying to find Misty Page. She's a sweetheart. Okay, so Misty posted it on most. So this is the piece that Misty did. You can see how beautiful beautiful that is. Let me see if y'all if y'all can see it though, because I want to make sure y'all can see it. You can see that's the piece that Misty did. It's very beautiful, right? While she was listening to us yesterday, she was working on that piece day before yesterday. So let's see. It's on eBay. So let's go check it out on eBay. See how much she's selling it for. Maybe one of y'all will want to show her some love. <clears throat> let's go to eBay real quick. So it's on eBay right now. You can see this is her. Um, let me see. Uh, um, okay, so she has her own eBay page. Oh, she's an eBay seller. So that's great. So she, this is her whole page. She has an eBay store. That's awesome, right? And this is some things that should inspire, inspire you. You can also have your own eBay store and sell your artwork. That way people can buy it. So she's selling this piece for, it's a pearl eyeglass chain pearl eyeglass chain amber and emerald crystals lovely gifts look mother's day is coming up mother's day is coming up and this is a custom piece there's not going to be another one identical to this it might look similar but this is a custom piece so this is misty page right here so this is her page she's an ebay seller you can see all her work. Also, if you have a eBay, you want me to shout you out, give your page a shout out, send me an email. But you can see she, she's very talented and she she take this very serious. And you can do the same thing too, fam. Your passion, you can put your passion online and you can make money doing what you love. You know what they say, right? If you do, if you're doing what you love. You won't hate it but if you hate doing what you love a lot of people have jobs and they hate it they just want the paycheck and time goes by so slow when you have a job that you don't like time goes by slow but when you love your job time be blazing fast right you'll be like damn it's like the birds is starting to chirp because <laughs> you love your job all right so let's let's Give our give Misty our support. Misty, keep up the amazing work, dear. All right, so let's go back in Kensington. Hold on, y'all. Let's go back in Kensington. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta redo this the sharing screen. All right, one second, y'all. Share screen. But yeah, so shout out to done bad, done well. Shout out to everybody who's out there, you know doing the damn thing put it in the work 
All right, so good morning, Mal. Hey, what's up, Cleveland? Cleveland in the house. We have probably like another 30 minutes on this live. Good morning, ma'am. I'm also an artist. Oh, yeah. Yo, send me your artwork. Being sober, you need a hobby. Absolutely. I also garden. Beautiful. And take care of abandoned graves. Oh, that is so cool. Yo, I wish I was around you. We can go check out them abandoned grave sites. You should do a whole YouTube channel or TikTok where you go, you know, exploring these abandoned graves and stuff. A lot of people are interested interested in stuff like that. That is to me, that is like cool. It's you know, I like those type of ventures. Abandoned grave sites. Take Mau Mau with you. I'll be down. But yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, I would love to see your artwork. Though Cleveland, you should email me your artwork so I can check it out. And congratulations on staying sober. You rock. That's that's great to hear. So yeah, before I'm sorry about that. Before before I close down, I just want to I just want to put something out there also too that AML Films is is us. It's you. It's me. It's, it's everyone who who wants the world to hear what they have to say. So if you have a topic that you that you that you care about, it don't have to be an addiction. It could be about something that you experience and you want to raise awareness on. I can give you your own slot. You can have your own slot on AML Films where you can we will we'll do a live just like this where you'll have your own topic to talk about whatever you want to talk about. If you want to talk, if you are, if you are a more motivational speaker, you can have a session every day or once a week where you motive, you know, give us some motivational words for an hour or how long you want to do it. If you are an artist, you want to showcase your work or you want to show us, Behind the scenes of you doing your work, you can also, I want this to be more than just me. I want us to be us. Not just my videos. I want to see your videos too up here. And if you, if you, if you are great, if you take a slot and you are great, people love you. People love your personality and you are adding values to people's lives. You can get paid. Your videos can make money. If you are doing good, your videos are getting views, you can get paid. Me and you will have to split the, the, the money, but it's all good. But you're, you have an audience already. You don't have to start from the bottom where you don't have no audience and you have to work hard to build your audience. Why don't you just come on here and you can build your audience from a site that's already built? A lot of people want to start YouTube channels, but their YouTube channels not popping. They ain't getting no views, so they quit. Why don't you come over, start over here, get a slot. You don't have to pay me nothing, and you can talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. We want to learn from you, too. Maybe you have something that you can educate us on, or how you go about certain things, how you deal with with stress, how you deal with this? We want to know. Don't let fear hold you back. Fear held me back for a long time until I stopped being scared and just embrace me. The ugly part of me, the weird part of me, the uncomfortable part of me, I embrace all that because somebody will like me for me. Not everyone would love me, like me, but somebody would like me. And that's just the world. Not everyone will like you. Some people will like you. And those are your, your people. So this is an opportunity for anyone who wants to do something with their life. Who wants to. Because social media is taking over. And you can blow up from social media if you have a talent you want us to know hear your talent if you can sing 
whatever talent that, that you have, use AML platform to to blow up. This is a slingshot. You're you're in a slingshot in this in this in this community. If you have what it takes, you can go far. I know there's a lot of talented people out there. There's a lot of people who can speak way better than me. You can have your own slot. If you want a 30 minute slot, you can have a 30 minute slot where you talk about anything that interests you, anything that can help improve people's lives. We want, we need you. If you have any resources you want to share, we need it. We need it. You don't have to show your face. You can just use your voice. We just want the message. That's what we need, the message. Beautiful, but I feel sad for good done well. I'm probably just reaching, reaching to. Turn it on notification now so I am never late again. Oh, greetings. Thanks, dear. That's what's up. So, fam, I'm, I'm offering the opportunity to anyone. Anyone, this opportunity is for you. If you want to get exposure, you can do it right here. We have 300 and some more thousand people, and we have other platforms. We have TikTok. We have Facebook. So if you want to blow up, you if you have a content, if you have something that you want to share with the world. If you have a business you want to share with the world, this is what we are here for, caring and sharing, helping each other grow. I didn't build this platform by myself. We built this platform together. I don't want it to just be Mal Mal stuff. And I want it to be Lizzie stuff too, Miss R stuff. Send me videos. I want put some of y'all videos on my on this channel i want to see y'all videos on this channel too i want to see you cooking or you whistling at the birds whatever we i want to we need you on aml this is not this is a media now we're into i'm into media now let's get it let's work together god forbid if i'm gone tomorrow then that mean the, the channel dies if I go tomorrow, I don't want the channel to die. If something happened to me, I don't want AML to just die. No, I want it to still continue. So that's why I need people who want to make a difference, who are not afraid of speaking up. Because I was afraid of speaking up too. But y'all, y'all the one who pushed me to speak up. So I'm pushing y'all to speak up too. Miss R, you can have your own slot, dear, where you can educate us. You know you a teacher, but you, you you still got it. You can educate us on whatever it is that you want to educate us. You can sing a song for us, whatever it is you want to do. Unlimited. You're not subject to just drug content. No, you can. We need we need inspiration. We need everything. We need ideas. You can have your own session, and if your videos be doing good, you'll make money. And you'll be able to bless more people, even though not that you need it, but something to look forward to also. So let's get it, fam. I know some of y'all have, if you want to share your story, also you can share your story. I know some of y'all have some something that we need to we need to see, something that we need to hear. If you just want to come up and show us your dog, your animal, we're here for it, fam. We're here for it. Let's grow together. You can you can take off on AML. AML can, can look. National Geographic's reached out reached out to me. Like yesterday, I was on my couch chilling, and National Geographic National Geographic's reached out to me. I'm I'm looking for the email. The National Geographic's reached out to me. That's why I'm saying this. AML is a community for us to grow together not just mal if you a singer this could be your own america got idol america got talent whatever it is whatever it is that you want the world to see because we are the our you know the, the the eyes of the world is on us so the eye of the world could be on you 
so fam don't be shy if you have some motivational words you want us to hear every morning for 30 minutes you can have a 30 minute slot where you'll have your own show you know how they have a big net network and they have different different branches on that network you have hbo you got cinemax you got pay-per-view you got all these different different things but under one umbrella this is what aml is an umbrella so you can have your own store under aml instead of you having to start back from start from scratch from the bottom because it's hard starting from the bottom some people wish they had an opportunity like this where they they don't have to start from zero subscribers where they can start here and then they can transfer whatever they have here to their own platform this is an opportunity for everyone if you want us to if you want to read books for us you can read books for us we're here to listen to you read a book hey we want it all whatever it is if you do whatever it is that you love to do we want to see it we want to see your videos we want to support you yeah rocky road you can have your own session dear you can have your own 30 minute session or one hour session any day of the week anytime my 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 schedule is open i'm my own boss i work for myself so i can always adjust my schedule i have my pit bull hey we love pit bulls we love animals we want to see your pit bull videos if you got some pit bull videos you can send it to me or you can come up on the live and you show us your show us show, show us your dog live you know i invite you on the live and you show us your dog that's one that's that heals some people animals just comfort some people yeah this is what it's all about i'm going to put my email on the screen email me i have some people who have been reaching out to me about this opportunity to have their own slot you don't other people they'll charge you they'll charge you money for you going on that platform and you know having your own or try to make a way for yourself they'll charge you but i'm not charging you nothing we are working together i want to see you succeed also too so that's my email right there if you have any topic that you want to talk about if you have something that you want to continue doing for a while like a session we can talk about it you can have your own show or your own area if you want to do artwork for like an hour and we we watch you do your artwork you can have that session too if you want to take us with you somewhere you can have that session too if you want to whatever it is that you want to do you can have your own slot and if you like i say if you do good your videos get views you can make money and you can even go further because somebody might see you and reach out to you be like oh i like i like you let me help you even further so let me read this message that i got from from national geographics before i forget mm -mm. look for this message y'all <clears throat> okay so the lady from national geographic she wrote me she said my name is kyra I am working on a documentary series for National Geographic called Traffic with Ma Marina Van Zella. We are working on an episode about fentanyl and are interested in potential, potentially licensing, licensing approximately 40 seconds from this video we found on your YouTube channel. In this, if is this something you're you're open to? to licensing for us in our documentary if so please let me know your standard licensing rates please let me know if you have any question or need more information about the episode so i said greetings kyra i'm glad you're making a documentary about fentanyl and i'm happy that my video can assist you if you're spreading awareness about this issue you can use my video for free just mention me if possible uh I only have the edited version, not the original. So that's what I wrote her. If you're if you're doing a video to help raise awareness about fentanyl, you don't have to, you don't have to, you can use my videos for free. People use my videos for free all the time. They don't pay me, but I respect the fact that she reached out to me 
and wanted to pay me for using my, my video. So that just goes to tell you, fam, that this is an opportunity for so many people who want to get exposure. Yeah, this is live. This is the live camera in Kensington. This is live. Excuse me. All right, so that's my email, y'all. Email me if you have a good topic you want to talk about. You can have your own show. You can come on once a week or you can come on three times a week, however it is you want this to be. This is your show. I'm just going to be in the back, just, you know, holding it down while you do your thing. Hey, Rocky Road, listen, we love you as is. We love you. We love each and every part of you. All right. AML family, we are def we are dysfunctional. We are not perfect people. We are dysfunctional, but we, you know, we have we we have a message, and we are leading with love. We are we are leading with compassion. You can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, Rocky Road. Whatever it is, your sweetheart wants us to know. You can you can do it for thirty minutes. I'm not gonna say nothing. This is your show. You can come up with a name for it. I'll do you a nice flyer and everything for you have your own little corner your own little store your own the rocky road show and you can build your own audience of people who want to come here just because they want to come and watch your show or want to see rocky road and that goes the same thing for anyone else ursula if you want to have your own little slot ursula where you talk about whatever it is you do what what Whatever it is that makes you happy, it's going to be people who want to come to AML. Just, oh, we want to see Ursula's show. Oh, I'm coming in because I want to see, I want to hear Rocky Road. Or I'm coming in because I want to hear Carol talk. So, this is what I want, fam. I want for us to build and for us to expand, not just for us to be Mau Mau. I want us to be Mau Mau and Pow Pow. And it's Pow Pow. All my Pow Pow got their own shop. I can go. I want to go visit your shop. <laughs> I want to go hang out in Carol's shop. I want to hang out in somebody else's shop. So that, that, that's what I want, fam. So let's do this. You in the beginning, it's going to be you're going to be rusty, but with with practice, you're going to be a great speaker, and your show might be buzzing to the point where you might start your own. You might leave AML and do your own thing, and that's okay. That's what it's all about. But I just want you to use this platform as a slingshot to push you forward. You can come up here. You can even put your cat. When, when you're doing your own show, you can put your cash app. You can put your PayPal, whatever it is you're doing. You can put your own twist to it. All right. So email me, fam. We got slots open. Get a slot right now before the slots are filling up and you won't have no slots. Right now, slots are open. You can pick your own day, your own time. My schedule is open because I'm, I'm a freelancer. So think about what you want to do and do it. All right. Mal, that National Geographic thing is amazing news. Yes, right. Yeah, the lady messaged me, and, has, and that just goes to tell you that people are watching us. So if you come up here and you are making a difference, you are adding value to people's life, you are educating people, you're going to go far with AML. Animals too. Yep. You can have your own. We need we need our own little session. Somebody got their own little shop in AML where they just, you know, show us their animal. They play with their animals what, for like 30 minutes or an hour. We can deal with 30 minutes to an hour. You play with your animal or you do whatever it is you want to do with your animal for an hour. We'll watch you. You have your own little show. And it's a community of people that's going to just come here just to watch you. Oh, Rocky Road, you get that'll be that'll be fun. You put your camera on, we see you cooking and dancing. You're that'll be fun. You can have your own little area on AML just for you. The Rocky Road show where 
the time that you want to do it you let me know and i'll come here and you'll get the link and we'll go live and you it's your show i'm just behind the scenes you can cook you can dance and you're going to inspire so many people we, we want to see that we want to see you making that secret sauce <laughs> We want to see you making that secret sauce, Rocky Road, and we want to see you dancing. So yeah, that's that's for everyone, not just rock and roll. That's for everyone. Don't be shy. Like I said, even if you don't want to show your face, you can you can just talk. You can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. If you have poetry, you want us to hear your poetry, we can hear your poetry. If you want to, you know, this is open invitation. <laughs> Carol is out. I don't think anyone wants to learn how to shop like a fiend. Hey, there's people out here who 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 are, who are interested. I'm interested. Carol, I'm interested. I want to learn. I want to learn some 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 tips, some hacks that you have. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are interested in your in your garden, your garden, how you do your garden. We're here for it. We're here for it. We are here for it. We 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 are here for education. We want to be educated. We want to we want to keep feeding our minds, caring for our minds. So this is a it's an open slot for everyone. You're all invited to have your own show and for you to grow and become even bigger. So think about it, all right. Trust me, man. I'm not shy, man. I have seen. Okay, so Rocky Road, you can set it off. You can take one for the team. You can be that one that that that, that started off. Have your own show. You can be the you can be the one to start it off. Rocky Road. We'll have the Rocky Road show. You tell me what time you want to do it, and we'll go for it. You can have like you can do it one day a week or two days a week for your own show. And trust me, once you start doing the Rocky Road, you're going to get some opportunities. Opportunities is going to start coming your way because you're in on you're in front of a lot of people. So people are going to start reaching out to you with endorsement deals and all kinds of things. So this is an opportunity, fam, for each and every one of us to grow. We are all unique and different in our own ways, and we all have something to to share. <clears throat> Ursula Oh man Okay, all right. Make making it today looking forward to other videos. Yeah, Rocky Roll. You can do it live. You can do it live. You can do it live or you can do it as a video, whatever it is that you want. We'll have your own little spot. The Rocky Rose Show. You can come up with your own name. Right, Carol? We're interested. Trust me, we're interested. We want to know the secret, the hacks. Carol, I'm... Hey, see, Carol, I'm, I'm telling you we're interested, Carol. Stuff that you think we're not interested in, we're interested. We want to know how it's done. Mal, you're such an inspiration. I smile as I listen. Oh, Diane, thank you, dear. So, Diane, also, too, you're invited. You're invited to have your own show. Each and every one of y'all are invited to have your own show. So think about it. Think about what it is that you want to share with the world. And don't let fear hold you back. You can make a difference. Right in your room, right in your living room or in your bed, you can make a difference. from. We have the audience to listen to you. Yes, Rocky Road, go for it. And you, once you go for it, you're going to inspire so many other people to do the same thing. Then you, next thing you know, we're going to have so many different slots popping up all over. All right, fam. So that concludes today. I appreciate each listening ear. So go think about what I said. And tomorrow when we come back or the following day, hopefully we'll have somebody that's ready to open up shop. We're ready to open up their first shop. All right. Let's see what she said. 
Thank you, man, for giving a whole aim. Yep, let's get it, fam. Let's grow. Let's grow together. It's an opportunity for all of us. And who knows? One of y'all might make it huge and might make it onto the, the world stage of you know the media who are big. Somebody might see you and be like, okay, we want to put you onto even bigger and bigger things. But yeah, you got to start from somewhere. So start from here, all right? Instead of starting from the bottom, start from AML. All my love. So fam, enjoy the rest of your day. I was supposed to go to Kensington, but situation held me back. But if I don't go this week, I will definitely be out there next week. All right, fam? But I love you all. So think about what I said. I can't wait to see your, your show. Don't be bitter. Be better. And we out there. Peace out.